Okay, I'm at 1307 Brentwood Hills Drive, Brandon, Florida. Give you a little view of the neighborhood. This house, and really this community, this house was built in, 2000, in 1996. Uh, community, for the most part, was built in the 90s, all through the 90s. <clears throat> this house has four bedrooms, three full baths, um, three car garage. Square footage is 2564. Does include a den, so it's four bedrooms plus a den. With square, like I said, 2564 square foot. When you walk in, uh, this is all laminate floors. You have your, for, your formal area kind of in the front. Little coat closet here when you walk in. And above you, pretty solid, tall ceilings. You have the chandelier. And you have a lot of natural light coming in as well. So when you walk in, you have, like I said, the formal area, lots of glass, lots of natural light. This is staged. Um, to the left is your family room and kitchen. To the right are all your bedrooms. Right here around the corner is your office. By definition, it's not a bedroom because it doesn't have a closet and it just has those glass doors. So they put a, a chair in there, so kind of an office area. Let me start from the left and I'll work my way over to the right. So if you come through here, first off, the air conditioning looks pretty new. I saw the ex uh, on the outside as well. As you come into the family room, this is really unique, these glass panels going all the way up with the palm trees there. That's pretty cool. Um, I'd have to look outside to see whether people can see in. I know that there's reflective materials and films that you could put there so that people can't see in. Um, just not sure right now if it has it. But definitely you could still have privacy even if uh, it looks like everyone's looking into your house. So here's your kitchen area. Definitely has been remodeled since the 90s. It can still you know, use a backsplash and some, some lighting. It may, it may have some lighting going on, but yeah. I mean, I'm talking like lights up above where you can't see it, but illuminates. It's a perfect type of uh, kitchen where you can do that. So you have a small little um, pantry here. And this must be... Okay, laundry room. So laundry room is here, and then this leads you to your three-car garage. There's a sink, and that's the exit to the outside. Has the two garage door openers, has a pull-down uh, attic. The AC looks really new. So does the hot water heater, so. This is probably four or five hundred bucks. This is five thousand dollars. So definitely your AC is the more impressive thing you want to see. But both of them look like they've been recently replaced. Okay, before I do the outside, let's do a full tour of the house. So from the kitchen area, you can look over to the wood burning fireplace and to the family area. I see speakers in the ceiling there. Looks like they got painted over. It has this soft closed drawers, although this one is falling. This one's fine. So this is missing something that's causing that to happen. But it's pretty minor. Appliances are all stainless. Okay, so let's keep walking. We have here a half bath. Like I said, it has a lot of, that was kind of the era in the 90s into the early 2000s, a lot of half walls and architecture like that. So of course from here you can see the pool in the back. Pretty decent cover on under deck, under roof. 
for any kind of uh, rainstorms. Well, let's check out the rest of the rooms first. So this is your master. Um, I can get the dimensions of it online, but I'm guessing it's maybe 16 by 15, I'm just guessing. So you have this small little closet, kind of a his and hers. That's generally his, and this would be hers. Um, they did put another hot water heater in here. I guess you get really good hot water. Um, you might be able to remove that for space if you wanted. I don't see why it's necessary, unless you just, uh, the person here just really wanted hot water quick. So as you go into the master bathroom, you have the toilet here and the shower that's inside of here. So this is your most private area. Oh, here are the lights. So. No, it's just all white. White tile. And then as you go into the rest of the bathroom, you do have a soaking tub. And you have a uh, matching uh, vanity or, or cabinets that we had in the kitchen with the white. And then you have uh, all these mirrors. Pretty tall ceilings in the, in the uh, bathroom. Looks like a hot tub might have been right there. And that's just an extension of the outside deck. You also have these uh, shelvings. Like I said, kind of the era when they built it. A lot of half walls and shelves and things of that nature. So down here we have the other three bedrooms and a bath. So really this is two and a half baths. We had that, unless there's another full out there, but we saw the half bath by the kitchen and the master, and there's one right there. So this room, interesting, has some kind of built-in shelvings. And then your closet space. And then these rooms all share this bathroom. Once again, the same matching cabinets that we saw in the rest of the other bathrooms. So we have one of the bedrooms here. Of course, this is a view to the uh, to the outside of the property, to the front. And then your last room is through here. Might be a 10 by 11, 10 by 12 at most. It's, it's hard to find um, homes that have really uh, large secondary rooms. The ceilings are fairly tall, so it does also kind of give you the illusion of a little more space, at least if the ceilings are a are good, are good size. Interesting with these uh, kind of curved walls and stuff. They have a place where you can maybe hang some art or a picture. All right, let's take a look at the uh, pool and the backyard. Oh, that stick is in the way. Let's see if that helps. Oh my God, there's real turtles. I thought they were fake. Wow. Huh. I really thought they were fake until they started jumping off the rock. Well, I hope they're being taken care of. They obviously have an obsession with turtles. You can see even the fake ones. <laughs> this one's sunbathing. Okay, back to the tour. 
So all this is under under a decking. So you do have quite a bit that you can basically lounge out here without getting wet. And then this is of course exposed to the screen as well as the pool. Now pools, they have a certain amount of time before they have to be resurfaced. This one could be at that time. Um, could just need a good cleaning. You can see the discolorations. It just might just be clean, might just need to be cleaned. Um, but that would be one question. If it does have to be surfaced, you're talking um, probably five to seven grand. It's not a big pool, but it's a couple thousand, or at least four or five thousand to do it, uh, unless you have some type of special connection or know somebody. But for the price they're asking, you shouldn't have to resurface the pool. So this is a pretty good sized lot. You see it's completely fenced in. That door right there was the off the third, the three car garage. Because of the trees, the, the grass is so-so. You have a lot of gro ground cover and stuff because of it. It's completely fenced in. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of fascinated by the all the little babies there. The whole family. So on this side, it does have a doggy door, which is nice if you have a pet. This could always be resodded. It has a good amount of space, but it just doesn't have nice green, plush grass. You have the neighbors behind you. It is a quiet community. I mean, I've been here for 20 minutes, even before shooting the video. It's pretty quiet. Of course, that's to the master right there. Now, if I uh, missed anything, and if you like the house and I missed something and you want to see it better, I'd be happy to come back and, and, and check that out for you. This might be, you know, this is, might be 15 minutes from my house. Um, or if it's not the one, I understand. And if I can uh, help you in other ways, just let me know. All right, well, this completes my video for 1307 Brentwood Hills. Bye.